Hello, beautiful people. My name is Kira, AKA Words by Kira. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all a little vlog of me getting into the holiday spirit. I'm gonna show you guys some items that I recently purchased with the Black Friday sales. I usually make content about self-love and connecting with others through interviews. If you like content like that, then hit that bottom right Oh, I'm sure it's here. <laughs> Hit that bottom right subscribe button and you can join the family. I would love to have you. So you, 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 if you're not subscribed yet, hit that bottom right subscribe button. Thank you so much and let's get into it. All right, y'all, I am in such a great mood today. I am like really feeling myself. I'm in such great spirits. And you know, I don't take that lightly because with 2020 being as unpredictable, scary, emotional, emotionally draining as it has been, I really am trying to be so appreciative of the moments where I feel good. So I'm going to be telling you guys just a little bit of what has been putting me in such a great mood lately. And I hope you, whoever's watching, that you feel empowered and you feel joyful. And even if you don't right now, I am sending you so much love that you will very soon. Okay, so why have i been feeling really good lately the first thing is i have been spending a lot of quality time with family near and far through video calls and just making more of an effort to speak to them this has really improved my mood so the first thing that my family and i did my parents actually came up with the idea to get my grandparents who live in florida i love you granny and grandpa if you're watching right now um, they live in Orlando, Florida, and usually we try our best to see them at least once a year. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, which we all know, that has not been possible because, of course, we want to protect them, number one, protect each other. So we haven't been able to physically see them. So we've been mostly just calling them and things like that. But we decided, we were like, you know what? Like, we want to see each other's faces. You know what I mean? We want to look at each other's face. Oh! <laughs> like you never know what you got sometimes man you never know what you got until you're like oh i can't just see my beautiful grandparents face so easily but thank god now we can so my parents got them a tablet and then my parents got the same one so it would be very easy for them to direct them in any way they need and now they are into the zoom call life y'all they're into the Zoom call life. It took a little bit of time. It took a little bit of patience, but they are in it now. And we had this whole group call with aunts, uncles, cousins, my grandparents, my nephews, my sister, my parents. Oh my gosh, it was really, really beautiful. We were all just like chatting, catching up. It felt so good to just be able to look into each other's eyes. And now we're actually planning a game night edition for uh, probably, Later this month, I believe. Yeah, later this month. And I love it so much. Shout out Uncle Dale. I know my Uncle Dale watches a lot of my videos. I love you so much. You're so encouraging. And oh, I just love you so much. So yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Um, maybe I can get a little clips for you guys. Gotta make sure it's okay with my family first. So we'll see on that. But yeah, that has put me in such a great mood. And also even just with like my immediate family, thank God I'm so blessed that I'm actually still staying with my family members right now so I'm able to be with them and it's really been a blessing so last night something fun that we did and it was so organic we actually planned to watch a movie Christmas Story I know you guys know it Ralphie I know y'all know that movie they're like certain family staples in my house like we have to watch every year let me know in the comments guys do you have any movies or shows like that where you guys kind of have to watch it or it just doesn't feel like the holiday season i would love to know what you really enjoy but for me and mine for me and my family okay christmas story 
If, if, if we're not watching that in Christmas time, something's off. It's not right. Like, I can't remember the last time we did it and I don't ever want to. Like, we need to watch that movie. All right, Preacher's Wife. Mm, 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 mm. Courtney Vance, Whitney Houston, Denzel Washington. Uh, like, what? It's just such a must have. Jennifer Lewis? Like, Preacher's Wife has got to be watched. It has to be. I have to hear Whitney. I have to see that beautiful black goddess on TV. Like, I have to. So yeah, that's a must have. Uh, also, for me personally, I don't know if everybody has to see this in my family. Uh, I feel like me, my dad, and my sister. Um, shout out my sister, Leslie. Oh, I love my sister. Okay, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm shouting out, honestly, shout out my whole family. And let's leave it at that, because it could get too much. Like, now I'm seeing it already. Like, all right, I, I need to calm down with the shout out. Uh, shout out everybody. I love y'all so much. But anyway, something that I personally have to see every holiday season, period, or something is off, it's not right, is um, It's a Wonderful Life. Jimmy Stewart, <laughs> Jimmy Stewart. Oh. Like, honestly, y'all, Jimmy Stewart for me, it's the Jimmy Stewart for me. Like, <laughs> I love Jimmy Stewart and his acting, his spirit. I don't know, I love to see his movies and It's a Wonderful Life truly started my like love affair with that man in movies. Like, I can't, I don't know about how he was personal life type. I hope he was a great man. He's, I mean, I, I really hope he was, but his characters, how he portrayed his characters in movies, like I genuinely felt in love with him. And that's when I knew like, I am, I'm destined to marry like a very sweet, goofy, just like honest, great character man. Like I, I really feel like, <laughs> I just knew it. I just knew it, but anyway. Oh, I'm starting to get a little, ah, I don't know. I'm starting to like say a lot. But anyway, yeah, that's another must have. So we were, we were planning to watch a movie last night, but the vibe, it shifted, it shifted. And you know, sometimes you gotta just ride that vibe because it was even better. It got even better than if we just watched the movie because it all started with, I played Mariah Carey, Jennifer Hudson, and Ariana Grande's new like Christmas song because I hadn't heard it yet. So I played it for my family. And then from there, it just spiraled into us playing mad songs for each other for hours. Like literally for like two and a half hours, we just kept playing music for each other. And my parents and I, you know, we're playing like Shaka Khan, we're playing Prince, we're playing Whitney for my nephews. Cause you know, they know this music, but we're like, oh yeah, listen to this, listen to these songs from the eighties and these songs from the nineties. And then my nephew's like, okay, okay, okay. Well, let me play some songs that you guys might not might might not know so he's playing all these Kendrick Lamar songs and he's playing J. Cole you know and then we're also playing like late 80s 90s songs that we all kind of know right like Guy and Keith Sweat the Force MDs my dad put on for us and I'm playing like Return of the Mac you know like it was everything y'all and oh oh also I was playing Toby Ooh, I don't want to mess up his name. This is a king. This man is a king. I don't want to mess up his name, y'all. Toby. I'm going to put a picture of him because he's amazing. Him and his wife, fat, make it home, eat, try Jesus. Like, y'all, if you haven't heard those songs yet, you all, like, you seriously have to check it out. They're so powerful, so beautiful. They spread so much love and joy. And you know, that's what I'm all about. So yeah, that was really a beautiful moment. I see my family today. We're all like in such great spirits, like literally just riding that wave of joy and love. So yeah, I am really grateful. And we didn't even spend a dime. We didn't spend any money doing that. Just spending time with each other, sharing music with one another. It was everything and just such a beautiful way to celebrate our family love with one another. Okay, so that was for free and that was everything that meant so much. 
but I have spent a little coin, a little bit of coins lately, specifically for the Black Friday sales that went on like a week ago, week and a half ago. And actually this was one of my purchases. Let me get close. This necklace, it's so cute, right? It has like little, I guess almost like little butterfly things. And that this is from Pretty Little Thing. And I just thought this was like adorable. And I also got these other little butterfly earrings too. I don't know who I think, am I, Mariah? I don't know, <laughs> Mariah Carey? I don't know, I was just really feeling like the butterfly look recently. And I also, I'm not gonna show you guys all the little items I got cause I don't want it to just turn into too much. But I got this really beautiful shirt really gorgeous and i got this from shop afrm.com they have a lot of like tops like these really fitted it's actually sheer it's actually mesh material so i have to wear something under it of course but very beautiful fit and i also got this really beautiful shirt i got it a little oversized i wanted to feel comfortable and not too, you know, not too tight. Sometimes I don't like that feeling. This is from nastygal.com. This is on sale as well. And I just love like the detail, like with the buttons. I think that's really, really beautiful. So that's something I spoiled myself with lately. Okay, so those are just like literally just a little bit of clothes. And now, I don't know if y'all judging me. I hope y'all aren't. Now my focus is definitely more on buying things for my friends and family. But hey, sometimes you gotta treat yourself, okay? Especially when there are good sales. So now I wanna get more into the like skincare, more into the products that I'm putting like on my body that I've really been enjoying lately. Okay. So let's start with hair care, what, right? Why not? So my nephew actually put me on, I mean, I had always heard about Shea Moisture. Sorry, it's like a piece of hair on it. But my nephew was the one like, yeah, I heard Shea Moisture is like so good for like, um, you know, like black hair, coarse hair, curly hair, things of that nature. So I decided to invest in the coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oil. Y'all, I love this product. It makes my hair feel so soft. It makes my, I feel like it makes my curls, you know, like bounce more and things. So I've been loving this. You can actually put this on when your hair is wet or dry. Me personally, because it's so, it's like, you know, more thick. I prefer to put it on after I wash my hair. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like it helps to keep my curls in place and add that moisture to it. But I noticed when I put it on dry hair, I don't know, I just prefer, not that it's horrible, but I just prefer to put it on my hair when it's wet or damp. And two, I just got a little pack of this. I just got a little pack of this because I wasn't sure how it would do, but I need to get a whole tub of this now, like no lie. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. This is natural, chemically processed, or heated, heat styled hair. This is fine for um, color. This is color safe as well. I mean, clearly you guys know I like to color my hair every few months. Usually like I color my hair once every like four months or so. So yeah, I've been loving this product. Like the moment you put it in your hair, at least in my hair, my type of hair, it feels so good. It makes my hair feel so moisturized, soft, bouncy, 
it's everything. And I love the fact that it has Jamaican black castor oil because I've heard for years that that really helps your hair to grow. It's supposed to, I don't know, it has like amino acids, I believe, and it really inspires hair growth. So from there, let's now just dive into the oils because I've been really feeling oils lately that simulate hair growth and that just stimulate like moisture to your body. So let's keep going with the castor oil. So I got this Clijanic. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Clijanic, 100% pure and natural. This is castor oil. I got this on Amazon. I mean, they already have so much, but oh, I fell victim, y'all, because it was just so convenient. And why I decided to get this is because I really wanted to grow my eyebrows naturally because I always noticed like, this is my good eyebrow. And then this is an eyebrow that struggles. I put a little bit of makeup on my eyebrows. So don't worry though, I'm gonna insert pictures so you can see how my natural eyebrows look on the regular. And I always noticed that this side, like the tail of my eyebrow was never as long. So I'm like, you know what? And I've heard for years, I would get my eyebrows threaded and the women would be like, oh, you have really nice eyebrows, but like you should put castor oil to make that side, that tail of your eyebrow grow more. And I used to be like, okay, okay. So lazy, just not doing it. And then finally one day, I'm like, why don't I really just invest in this? Like, I, the time's passing by anyway, you know, if I just do this every day, why well, don't, I'm sure maybe, you know, maybe I can see some improvement. So that's initially what got me started. Then I did a little bit more research and I realized that people also have been putting it on their eyelashes to help their eyelashes grow. Now, right now I have on no mascara and these are my natural eyelashes. So I haven't really seen much improvement for my eyebrows yet. I'm gonna stick with it. Right now, it's literally every time I wash my face morning and night, every morning I put on the castor oil on my eyelashes. These are the two containers that came in the box. So it has like kind of like the mascara topping. And then this is just like a very dainty little brush. I only use this because this oil is so thick, y'all. Like honestly, it's mad thick. I have to always keep a paper towel under it to ensure that the oil just doesn't get so crazy. You have to be so careful. And even when I, even when I open it up, I'm always forever like doing this on the sides before I even pull it all the way out because the oil will very quickly um, just drip. And so yeah, I have been putting that on my eyebrows and my eyelashes every morning after I wash my face. And I've definitely seen an improvement with, improvement with my eyelashes. They seem longer and just more full. The only thing I'm trying not to use mascara as much because I don't know if you all have heard, for anybody out there who uses mascara, sometimes it can just make your eyebrows more weak and brittle and more easier to um, fall off. And that's the complete opposite of what I'm trying to achieve with me trying to promote more growth to my eyelashes. So yeah, I've been loving that. Another oil, another fan favorite, which I know y'all have been hip. I'm. You know, I would always use this when I would go to my friend's house and stuff sometimes. Back in the day, they would have like the coconut oil on deck and I loved it. I loved how it made my legs glisten, especially for a night out. If I'm trying to show out with a dress, some heels, some pumps, you know, it makes your legs look so attractive and gorgeous. So yeah, this has been something. I got this from Amazon as well, Majestic Pure. This is fractionated coconut oil, 100% pure. The only thing this doesn't have a scent, this is unscented. I, I love the coconut scent. So I was actually really annoyed when this didn't have a scent. I, I opened it like, I can't smell, I can't smell. I got mad scared because you know what's going on in the world. I got mad scared. I'm like, <laughs> but then I like had a candle by me and I was like, and I could smell everything. So I was like, okay. And then I looked and this is unscented. So yeah, I right now have been using this after I shower. After I shower, I just put this all over my body. 
it just looks so moisturizing. It immediately absorbs. It's not greasy. It doesn't like get all in my way. So I'm really into it. Um, there are numerous therapeutic benefits. So there's a lot of things you could do with coconut oil. You could put it in your hair. So I, sometimes I put it in my hair too, if I feel that it needs a little pep. So yeah, that's it for the oils. And then lastly, this is something that's been around for years. I don't even know if y'all can see that. <laughs> L'Oreal Eye Defense. So I noticed, I don't have any makeup on except for my eyebrows right now, but I noticed that under my eyes, can y'all even see? I got these lights on. Under my eyes and on my eyelids are definitely darker than the rest of my face. This happens with age, this lack of sleep, so many different things. I actually got pretty decent sleep last night, but anyway. Also, the, the skin around your eyes is just the most thin and delicate skin on your face, period. So there's a lot of reasons why that section of your face be can become darker. So yeah, I decided, you know, I'm about to be 30 next month, which is so exciting. I'm very excited to be 30. I, honestly, the moment I turned 29, I was like, girl, you 30. Girl, you 30. <laughs> like I, I've been preparing myself this whole time. So I decided, most people say to start doing this around age 25. I did do a little bit of eye cream a few years ago, fell off. Sometimes I'm not the best, but now I'm in a more stable headspace. I'm more disciplined and it's just a better time for me to start trying to instill good habits. Speaking of habits and productivity, if you haven't seen my tips on productivity video, you should definitely check it out so you can see it if you want a little more inspiration with your goals because I'm trying to see everybody win, okay? That's pretty much that and I don't know, I just feel so good. I hope that, I know I don't usually talk about products on here, um, but I'm someone like, I do enjoy a good product. I do enjoy something that makes me feel good, something healthy for me, fashionable or just beautiful. So I think that sometimes it's nice to include those type of videos. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little low-key haul that I did for you. And I wish you guys to have the best holiday season, the best end of your year that is possible. And we made it through, y'all. We made it through for a reason. We are here for a reason. And I'm so glad that you watched to the end of this video. I appreciate you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.